hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here and still yeah you know don't you? Right you know what time it is don't you? <laughs> it's that time again Weapon of the Week that's what time it is Weapon of the Week! <laughs> been a few circling around in my head this week who were weapons but I'm not gonna say oh so and so were close this person were close that person were close this week's weapon of the week is the body snatcher Dylan White I mean <laughs> Dylan White's a weapon of the week. Did you see him on that punch bag? Or punch ball thing in some supermarket or wherever? How many times did he hit it? Three or four times? No hand wraps on. Yeah, I think what I'll do, I'll punch this punch ball as hard as I can. Seven weeks before a fight that's on pay per view. Who's advising this man? I mean, I've seen on social media he's brought some. Uh, strength and conditioning guy on board what, what's all that about if it's not broke don't fix it so I don't I don't get that I don't get that somebody's obviously in his ear hole see this is what happens with fighters they get to a certain level and then they think that they've done it all and everybody around them comes comes around them and starts whispering whispering in their ear but where were these people when they were coming up? They were nowhere, were these people? But everybody loves a champion, don't they? Or everybody loves somebody that's doing good. Where were these people when you're not doing so good? Where were these people when Joshua were knocking him about? Where were they, that? Where were they then, these, these experts? And I don't know, I just... Uh, I think... I think there's chinks in the armour. He don't, he don't look right, Dylan White. He just... He's doing interview after interview after interview, calling out everybody. Why? You should be up up in your whatever your digs in Portugal resting. If you're taking hours out of your day to do interviews and get you sent out there and all that, everybody knows who you are now. He does numbers on IFL. Okay, it's pay per view. Not won a European title yet. Look, it is what it is, isn't it? But the point I'm trying to make is, Dylan White, your weapon at week, you are a weapon. You should be resting in between sessions. I mean, these people who, 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 who's in your ear, I don't know, you're supposed to be getting fit out in Portugal. You look to me like it's just a jolly up. They don't look to me like there's any training going on. Walking about in some supermarket, bare feet, whacking some punch ball thing i mean what <laughs> i tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna whack this punch ball and i'm gonna show everybody how hard i can hit 
and I'll send it Coogs and we'll put it on IFL if it's a good score. Yeah, forget doing any damage to my hands. No tire absolute. I'm just gonna bump. I'm just gonna whack it. I mean what what is all that about? Hey. Sit sitting down for hours on end doing interviews and tiring your mind out. You should be resting. Hmm. Everybody wants to be Mayweather, don't they? Yeah, I'm going to do loads of interviews. Seven week out, we're all right. We've already been in camp a few months. Get resting. Turn your phone off. Get resting and do your job properly. Do you see Daniel Dubois going around doing interviews? No, because he's got people advising him, hasn't he? To do the job properly. You don't see him hanging out at the back of people on IFL. Or people hanging out at the back of him. You don't see that, do you? He's quietly going about his business. I don't see anybody calling him out. Do you see Joe Joyce going, going, about, his, going about his business like that? No. So, Dylan, it's weapon behaviour. Give your head a shake. I mean, I'm turning my TV on. I'm laid then in bed. I've got a telly on. Bump, TV. Let's put IFL on. Bump. I've got Dylan White coming at me. We an afro comb stuck in his head. What is all that about? An afro comb stuck in your head. It's weapon behaviour, Dylan. And then you're walking around supermarket, bare feet, punching them punch balls with old tie wraps on your hand. Weapon of the week. All right, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, Dylan. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>